Hey guys, I uh, started a bit early from a smaller town, so not very many people around right now, so I thought I'd do a video. Um, last few days since going through Saria, which is the traditional uh, last potential place that people can start at to get the Compostela if they make it to Santiago, it has been so crowded. It's been almost claustrophobic. So, right now it's pretty nice. However, I have not had any luck in finding any place that's open to serve breakfast or coffee. So I've been walking for probably uh, an hour and a half now without food or, or coffee. And it's not the easiest thing to do. But, and I think I still have another hour at least till the next town. I keep finding places, but they're not open. I can't remember. It might be Sunday today. Can't keep track of days anymore. Anyways, that sucks. But today's actually been a really nice walking day. It's been kind of eerie and mystical looking. Lots of mist and trees and open fields howling dogs and one point I swear I could hear a woman singing which that's uh, something else entirely but uh, I'm actually loving it because right now I'm listening to Juliet Morelier's books on Audible and they're very Celtic lore feeling books so I kind of just feel like I'm walking inside of one of those so it's actually pretty neat but yeah uh, I'm still enjoying the Camino. It, uh, the struggle seems different though. My legs feel much stronger, uh, finally, now that I'm almost done. Um, not that they didn't feel strong, but they had a lot of more aches and pains and stuff, and they still get stiff every day, but, uh, I don't have the usual pains I was dealing with a lot for the majority of the time. It was a considerable amount of pain, too. But that just makes me more proud to know that I have walked this distance despite all that. I am now under 75k away from uh, getting to Santiago. I don't think I'll be able to get in until the 5th at this point because I took a much shorter day yesterday than I had planned because I was just tired. I hadn't gotten very much sleep for the previous few nights and there's something really draining about being around a lot of people. So I just, I just couldn't do it. I mean, I probably could have, but I just didn't want to. So if I don't have to, why force myself? But anyways, um, otherwise it's been beautiful. I mean, it's probably been the most beautiful of the entire Camino, and I've seen some pretty beautiful places so far, so that's saying something. It is Galicia, which has a lot of Celtic history as well, which kind of adds to the feel, um, but it's just, it's more likely to rain here, so it's a lot more green. I think it rained last night, because all the trees are still raining. But, yeah, well, anyways, it's, uh, it's quite lovely. I just wish it wasn't so crowded and touristy feeling, even though I know that's pretty much what it is. But, I don't know, it's just a different feel. Everyone who started before Saria has pretty much mentioned it. So, I know I'm not alone in that. I'm trying not to be a... St. Jean Pierre de Port snob about it, but I kind of just kind of seems to happen. Um, I'm not mean to anyone by any means, but, <laughs> but I'm not nice behind their back either. But I guess I'm just human. Anyways, only a few more days. Buen Camino.